Welcome back in this next video about instrumentation on iOS. If you didn't follow the previous videos or did not subscribe to the training on Mobile Hacking Lab, please do so you will get all the instructions how to set up your environment and in this case specifically how to set up Frida because in the previous video we already demonstrated how to use Frida by creating your own scripts using the JavaScript API and in this video I'm going to explain an additional tool called Objection. Objection is a wrapper around Frida and it can automate common tasks like bypassing root detection or SSL pinning. So earlier we created our own script to bypass root detection or we used an existing script from Frida CodeShare. But there is also an easier way by using this tool Objection. So let's dive into the hands-on part. First I do want to point you to this GitHub repository about the tool Objection. It is a Python tool and it supports both iOS and Android and the installation is pretty easy. Just pip3 install objection. So let's go to our VM. So it is as easy as pip3 install objection. And in my case, it is already installed. So now you should be able to just type objection and then you get all the options. So you can connect over IP address or over USB and you can already see some of the options. So for example, you can also patch an IPA file using objection using a Frida gadget. So it's connected to Frida. And also this minus G for gadget is also the thing we are going to use to connect. And the easiest way to use objection is to connect to an already running app. So let's start this damn vulnerable iOS application again. Then I want to know the process ID of this application. So 608 in this case. And then we can use objection. I made a typo, but it's objection minus G from gadgets. Then the package name and then explore. And with explore you get this shell so quite similar to Frida it looks like and now we can try different comments so if you go to the workbook you also have an instruction what to do with objection so first one we can try is env to get all the environment variables now you get all the directories of the application for example in the next one ios bundles list bundles will list all the bundles used by this app which is only one in this case and we can also list all the frameworks. This app also uses some external frameworks, so this is also quite interesting. And another thing we can also try is jailbreak disable. So if you remember the previous video, this app has a lot of jailbreak detections. And maybe we can also easily disable it via objection. And this also seems to work, is not jailbroken, is not jailbroken etc and you get some nice output about the functions and return values which are changed similar to the scripts we created earlier and with objection you can do a lot more things like browse files and also dump files which might contain useful information and objection has also autocomplete so if you just type ios keychain what do you want to do with the keychain so you can even add an entry to the keychain you can dump the keychain so let's do keychain dump and then you can also get information about passwords stored in the keys chain. It's also very nice. And another thing you can do is get information from the property list file. And the last one is also to check for the credential storage. So in this case, for example, there is a shared credentials cache. So this is also very specific for uh, iOS foundation or iOS in general where credentials are stored. So all those kind of things you can also do via objection. And in this case, probably because we did not really use this app yet, there is no sensitive information found. But probably in this vulnerable application or in real life applications, you can get some very interesting information by just using all those comments. So if you're pen testing iOS applications, I would definitely recommend to use this objection application. Maybe the default jailbreak detection and SSL pinning disable will not always work, but at least you can use it to extract information in a very easy way. So this was an introduction into Objection and also into Frida, how to use it for dynamic instrumentation on iOS. I hope you enjoyed it and see you in the next video.